questions 1 through 10 on the 2021 Grade 10 Kaylee Math Contest. The expression 2 plus 4 over 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 4 over 1 plus 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. 1 plus 2 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Number 1, the answer is C. The 1's digit of 5, 4, 2 is 2. When 5, 4, 2 is multiplied by 3, the one's digit of the result is. 5, 4, 2 multiplied by 3 is 1, 6, 2, 6. The one's digit of this number is 6. And therefore, number 2, the answer is E. Sum of the 1 by 1 squares in a 3 by 3 grid are shaded as shown. What is the perimeter of the shaded region? Okay, well, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And each of those had a length of 1. So, number 3, the answer is A. If 3x plus 4 is equal to x plus 2, the value of x is 3x plus 4 is equal to x plus 2. So, 2x is equal to negative 2 x is equal to negative 2 divided by 2, x is equal to negative 1. Number 4, the answer is D. Which of the following is equal to 110% of 500? 110% is written as 1.10. And then you multiply that by 500, and you will get 550. And that's it. Number 5, the answer is E. Eugene swam on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. On Monday, he swam for 30 minutes. On Tuesday, he swam for 45 minutes. His average swim time over the three days was 34 minutes. For how many minutes did he swim on Sunday? 30 plus 45 plus x for the amount of time that he swam on Sunday divided by 3 is equal to 34. So that would be 75 plus x is equal to 34 times 3, which is 102. And therefore, x is equal to 102 minus 75, and that is 27. So number 6, the answer is C. Which of the following values, for which of the following values, is x to the power of 3 less than x to the power of 2? Well, the first thing we can do is divide through by x to the power of 2 on both sides. And when you do on this side, you have x. On this side, you have 1. So x has to be less than 1. Of the answer choices, the only answer choice that is less than 1 is B. And that's the correct one. Number 7 is B. A square piece of paper has a dot in its top right corner and is lying on a table. The square is folded along its diagonal, then rotated 90 degrees clockwise about its center, and then finally unfolded as shown. The resulting figure is... My advice, if you're practicing, take out a piece of paper, make it into a square, draw a little dot there, fold it, rotate it, and then unfold it and see what you get. And when you do that, you will hopefully get the right answer, which in this case, for number 8, is E. In 12 years, Janice will be 8 times as old as she was 2 years ago. How old is Janice now? So if her age, let's say, is x, 12 years from now, it'll be x plus 12. And that is the same as 8 times her age 2 years ago, 8 times x minus 2. So that's the equation that we have to solve. So x plus 12 is equal to 8x minus 16. That means 12 plus 16 is 28, and that's 7x. x is equal to 4. She's 4 years old. Number 9, the answer is a. In the diagram, pentagon TPSRQ is constructed from equilateral triangle PTQ and square PQRS. The measure of angle STR is. All right, well, first let's draw STR. And now let's start figuring this out. So this angle obviously is 90, and this is an equilateral triangle, so that's 60 there, 60 degrees. So... That means that this whole angle would be 90 plus 60, which is 150. So since this is an equilateral triangle, these are all the same. And this, therefore, 
is the same as that, that, and that. So this triangle right here is isosceles, this PTS. So that means this is the same as that in terms of the angles. This we have concluded is 150. So 150 plus 2x is equal to 180, right? So 2x is equal to 30, x is therefore 15. So this is 15 degrees right here, this angle. And because this is symmetrical, it'll be the exact same story on that side, that's 15 also. So now we can figure out STR. STR, I'll just call it uh, Y, because all of these angles together equal 60, because it's an equilateral triangle. So 15 plus Y plus 15 is equal to 60, and therefore Y is equal to 30, and Y was what I chose to represent STR. So number 10, the answer is 30 degrees, which would be choice D.